In the average productivity suite, you'd expect to find software like a word processor, a spreadsheet application, you'd probably find some kind of presentation app as well. And then sometimes you may find uh, a, a utility, a, a tool that could help you um, take in information and organize that information, kind of like you know laying a, a, a base uh, for, for, for data the base of data the database application I wouldn't be surprised if you already had a database application installed on your computer or you may have purchased one thing and oh well oh, yeah I need to have a database application oh it's so important but no one really uses it why because most database apps suck I mean the only reason you'd use it is you were assigned uh, uh, some kind of task to use it Really, because they're generally unusable. But the good news is, is that, in my opinion, there is at least one usable database application on the planet. It's only available for Mac OS X, and it's called Bento. Uh, if you uh, had ever heard of FileMaker, it's been around for a long time. It's kind of the next iteration of FileMaker. Bento, available right now for about $50, and Honestly, I was expecting to pay four times the amount, uh, especially after starting to use Bento. You give, it, give it a shot for yourself. Head over to FileMaker.com, look for Bento, or just Google for Bento, and you should be able to find it. Uh, with the database application, you're essentially creating a, a forms uh, that people can fill out, or you can fill out, that can help you organize certain sets of information. So if you're trying to organize, let's say, right now I've got a template pulled up. They just released a free template to help you organize like your holiday cards. Uh, you could organize this inf information in a spreadsheet, but it's not always easy to input information from a spreadsheet. I mean, that, that information would probably work better in a database because you could do different things inside a database. And certainly the interface is a heck of a lot better for uh, data entry, like general data entry, text, as well as, as uh, uh, numerical data whereas spreadsheets are primarily created to handle calculations. That's what a spreadsheet does. It can do more than just that, of course, a spreadsheet can. But if you're intent on organizing data, uh, you know, maybe a home inventory, uh, gift checklist, uh, information that you're looking to continuously add to and, and, and export from and, and just really store in an organized fashion, that's what a database is there for. But as I said, if the software itself is not usable, you're not going to use it. I mean, you know you need a database application for something. There is something in your life, personally or professionally, that you're going to need a database app for. So wouldn't you want it to be usable? Now, if, if you were not interested at all in getting a Mac, I can pretty much guarantee that if you saw Bento and how it works and how easy it is for anybody to use and just jump into right away and figure it out. Yeah, I'm not going to say you're going to switch, but it certainly is in the top 10 list of my list of apps that would get you to take a serious look at Mac OS X and the software that is available specifically on that platform. I'm a software junkie. I use software on Windows, on Mac OS X, on Linux, doesn't matter. It's software to me. I'm a software geek. This is not just for geeks, it's for anybody. And that's why I like the way that they approach this database application. I'm not gonna make any crystal ball predictions or anything, but I would not be surprised if Apple acquired Bento or certainly bundled it within the iWork suite because, or, or you know, I don't think Microsoft is going to go that far. I, I would recommend it because it's like one of those applications that really is a good application for what it does. It's a database management, template driven, just total power on the front end and the back end, and they're constantly revising it. That Bento 1 was out uh, not that long ago. They just released Bento 2. Uh, you know, they're listening to the community, and that's really that's that's really what I look for in terms of software development. You know, something that's easy to use, uh, something that has a community around it, and more importantly, the development team that listens to the community it is it's all gooey it's just all gooey and I, gooey graphical user inter, i can't even say it 
graphical user interface. It's clean, it's straightforward, it's drag, it's drop, it's point, it's click. It's enough to get you going with your first database. Tons of templates to start from. Uh, it's you know if you if you don't if you don't want to create your own fine, create a new library from a template. They've got templates for projects, contacts, files, events, to-do items, inventory, event planning, time billing, exercise log, expenses, home inventory, vehicle maintenance, classes, digital media, products for sale, membership list, student list, equipment, issue tracking, items sold, notes, donations, customers. I mean these templates are, are applicable like across a variety of topics anything that you can possibly think of uh, using this for you know again for managing data uh, you know you can create it yourself if there isn't a template uh, that's already available those templates come with it they come with it again for fifty dollars you're getting one heck of an app uh, let me backtrack let me backtrack let, let me make a comparison you've probably already purchased a database app Okay, it probably already came with your office suite. Are you using it? And if you're not using it, why? Just want you to answer those questions. My email address is chris at perilla.com. Maybe you know of another fantastic database application that I've missed. Certainly be interested in looking at it. Like I said, I don't care what platform it's on. I love software. If you got any tips and tricks to pass along in relation to database or database relationship, <clears throat> Sorry, it's a, it's a really bad uh, inside joke. Any bento tips to pass along? And I don't mean like the uh, uh, bento box, like the meal, which I've never ordered one myself. I, I usually go a la carte when I order sushi. Love sushi. Oh, I love sushi. Love sashimi. Uh, that, oh, salmon. Oh, ah, oh, love it. So every time I say the word bento, I always think, hmm, I haven't had sushi in a while, even though it's only been like, what, two hours since my last sushi meal? I live in the Pacific Northwest. I have to eat fish. It's law. It is. I swear, it is. If you like talking about software, you're more than welcome to join us in our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Uh, over over 9,000 registered geeks at this point. Almost 10,000, I'm happy to say. And of course, you're also welcome to stop by our chat room. Uh, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with this live video feed that has the chat room inside it and wacky hand gestures. I'm Italian. What are you going to do? Anyway, you're welcome to join us. As I said, typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.